Happy birthday. Anyways, um, we're going to talk about something else today. Uh, like I say, uh, we're going through the lesson, the basics. I think that these are things that every believer needs to know and learn, especially I believe there's a lot of young believers, even older believers that never really got these lessons. I'm not going to talk too much about, too deep about them, but <clears throat> I'm just going to really be more superficial uh, about them. But so, right now I'm going to talk about kingdom living. We've talked about fellowship, we've talked about generosity. Uh, today I'm going to talk about kingdom living. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kingdom living. What is kingdom living? You know? Sometimes we live life as if this is it. As if we have arrived. You know, I remember when I was in Africa, you know, I looked up and America was a paradise. I was looking forward to it. I, I was just dreaming. It was my dream every night. Every night I go to bed, I'm looking at America, America, America. I'm going to go there. It's the kingdom that I was looking forward to. But I got here. I realized that I haven't arrived because there's still pain. There's still suffering. There's still all those things. But yeah, I mean, this, the quality of life is different. But man, I'm still on earth. I'm still on earth. But it doesn't matter whether I'm in America or I'm in Africa or Europe. It doesn't matter where you are or even Canada, or Mexico. Our life has to be different. We shouldn't live a life that looks as if, as the same as the people of this world. Okay? We have not arrived. This is not our home, the Bible says. Our home is heaven. Jesus said that I'm going to the Father to prepare a home for you. Okay? I'm going to prepare a place. There's a place that has been that is being prepared. Now, for us, when we give our life to Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, we have changed our nationality. You are no longer you're no longer earth person. You're a person of heaven. Hallelujah. Your nationality has changed. And I, I think we, we understand this for most of us that came in, in, in America and other parts. Is that you can easily, after certain years, you get your citizenship and you become an American. And so as an American, you have the rights just as any other American. Regardless of your race. What's the definition of an American? It's not white. That's not the definition of American. You get me? And sometimes we think of that. And so we disqualify ourselves on a lot of things. The definition of America is immigrants. Everybody immigrated here. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Everybody immigrated here. This is a land of everybody. And so when you come here, you become a citizen. Um, and, and, and your nationality changes. And this becomes your home. It becomes your home. But guess what? You have not arrived. Don't let this comfort life that you have, where you have food whenever you want, where you can watch whatever you want on YouTube through Wi-Fi, where you can have a right to go to school, you don't have to walk, you don't have, you have shoes. You, don't let the comfort, see, sometimes we get so comfortable in America, in Canada, whatever it is, even in Africa, we get so comfortable. That we feel that we forget we forget that we were not of this world we get so comfortable that we become part of this world we start acting like the people of this world our lifestyle does not stand out we just be like the people of this world but it's like no 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 mm -mm. we cannot conform to this world to the patterns of this world we cannot hallelujah we have to live our lives as citizens of the kingdom of God. We have to live our lives as children of God. I don't know about you, but man, when he says that I am a child of God, I mean, that means that my life needs to look like my father. 
who is God. And my father, according to the scripture, says he is holy. He says he is holy. So if he is holy, then I need to walk a life that looks like the father I serve. I shouldn't be the one fighting. I shouldn't be the one making noise. I shouldn't be the one doing all these things. I should be different. I should stand out. The Bible says that when somebody hit you on one cheek, it doesn't mean pull out their wig. Okay? It doesn't say, you mess with me? Huh? Girl, you don't know me, huh? I'm going to take you down, huh? I'm going to pull you, you know? It doesn't mean like that. The Bible says that if somebody... Hit your one cheek, turn around and give him the other. It says that if somebody takes your coat, give him, give him the rest. If somebody asks you to walk one mile, walk two miles. I mean, come on. This thing's in the Bible. But no, these are the Christians out there. We are the ones who are the first ones to, to, to make noise, to fight. To, to, we're the ones... The, the people in the church, they're the ones in the club, they're the ones sleeping around, they're the ones gossiping, they're the ones dividing churches, they're the ones, got, you know, spreading rumors. I mean, come on! How can people in the world tell the difference? That's why people are not being saved. Like, because they don't see a difference between you and them. You know? There's some Christians sleeping around. They might be married, they're sleeping around. Oh, and you're not even married. Young people, sending naked pictures. On, face, on social media, on your phones, and stuff like that. Or cussing, dirty language, all that stuff. How is that a kingdom life? How is that a kingdom life? You know, I think we forget that everything we do will be judged. The Bible says it, that Jesus Christ, we're going to stand before Christ. And everything we've done, even in a secret, that nobody knows, everything will be laid open before Christ Christ before Christ everything will be laid open so we have to be careful with how we live our lives we have to model Jesus listen when Jesus was on this earth he is he was a human okay he he did not he did not conform to this world he did not do what the things of the people wanted him to do matter of fact he was a rebel some people say a rebel but you know, rebel is seen as a bad thing. But it was a rebel for good thing. He he was not afraid to what people will do to him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. He was not afraid of what people will do to him. But instead, he was very. Um, he did everything that the Father. He said, "I'm doing the will of my Father." He said, "I came to do what? To do the will of who? My oh, my Father." What my father tells me is what I do. And I believe, us as believers as well, we ought to have the same mentality that I am here on earth to do the will of my father. I don't care what you're going to think about me. I don't care about the people that I'm going to lose. I don't care if the, this guy is going to break up with me. I'm here on earth to do the will of my father because I don't belong to this world. I belong to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We need to model Jesus. We need to walk like Jesus. He needs to be, he needs to be the person that we look up to and look to and say, you know, Christ, he, 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 he did everything according to the word of God. He walked, he prayed. Matter of fact, he, you know, you cannot have a kingdom life if you're not a person of prayer, if you're not praying every day, um, not just this little quick prayer. If you're not fasting, you know, I believe there's power in fasting. Matter of fact, I believe that every Christian should be fasting, you know, um, at least once a month, you know, just fasting. Because really that, you are taking control, you're taking power over the flesh because your body wants to eat. But you're reminding the body who's in charge. I'm in charge here, your body, you don't tell me what to eat. And I'm here, I'm focusing on, 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 on fasting because I'm looking for God, I'm praying to God, I'm focusing on my Creator. So that helps with self-control because your body will always tell you to do crazy stuff. But because you're a person that already have learned on how to have self-control through fasting, you can also be able to do that. That is the power of fasting. Hallelujah. You cannot live a kingdom life if you're not reading the scripture. Because how do you know what Christ wants? How do you live a Christ-like a Christ life? 
You know, what does the Bible say? How does a Christian life supposed to be? You know, a lot of times we want the pastors, we want to watch pastors preach, maybe for a little bit, for 20 minutes, we want to listen to a lot of songs. See, a lot of times we even listen to music, Christian music, but sometimes they don't even do us good. We, we fall in love, we only fall in love with the, we fall in love with the art of the music. The, the beats, the lyrics, the, just the way it sounds. But the music doesn't transform us. There's nothing that happens, even if it's a Christian music. It's just because we have become a religious people. We are religious people. We just love, you know, oh, Michael and Bai, or, um, uh, 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 um, 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 they're great artists that we love. That's great. But guess what? Those words do not bring transformation. We just fall in love with the music. We fall in love with the artist, the person singing the song. Matter of fact, sometimes before you even listen to songs, Christian music, you look how many views they have first. Instead of really paying attention to the content of the words. Sometimes like, oh man, that song has 10,000 views. You know, I'm not gonna listen to it. Uh, it's not that good. And then when, whenever, you know, we, 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 rate, we rate it on that, but the songs, they're not bringing any transformation. It's great, we need to listen to them. We need to listen to them more than secular music. But listen, it's more better. You, 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 learn, the, you learn that song, you sing it yourself. Hallelujah. You take that time, you sing to God. Worship God. You know, sing those words out to God and, and let those words come out of your tongue, your own tongue. Not in your mind as you're watching, but in, on your own tongue. You know, you're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. You're the Lamb, Lord. I surrender my life to you. you you're just singing those words and you're, you're really thinking hard about them. What are you saying? What do you mean? And also reading the word and being in prayer. That is how you can have a kingdom life. Jesus. He would wake up early in the morning to go pray. This, this guy was up late, you know, with the crowds because of following him. But yet he's waking up early in the morning to go pray. He's, he's always looking, seeking. That, that is something that kept him pure and holy. Kingdom life. Kingdom life. When the devil was tempting him, he caught the scripture. He said, man cannot live alone on the bread alone by the every word of God. He quote the scripture. How am I gonna quote, how am I gonna defeat the devil? How am I gonna overcome the enemy if I'm not reading the word? Hallelujah. Let's read Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. Galatians 5, 22. And forgive me, all my, 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 my teachings today are in English, but um, I think that's how it's gonna be for them. Um, that's where we are going. It's gonna be mostly English. Um, Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 and if you don't understand English it's okay uh, if you can Google translate me um, to Swahili that would be awesome <laughs> or any other one which you want to Google translate me. but anyways Kingdom Living Kingdom Living this is where um, we're, we're differentiated from other people is the way we live our lives. Our lives, you know how they say black lives matter? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. You know how they say black lives matter? Yes. Okay? Your life as a Christian matters. The way you live it on earth. The way you live your life matters. What you do matters. What you watch matters. What you think matters. Your kingdom life. Your life has to be different. This is what it says, Galatians chapter 22. The Holy Spirit produces these kinds of fruits in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. There is no law against these things. This is the fruits of the Spirit. We need to pursue. See, um, matter of fact, we're going to have, I believe, I'm very big on the fruits of the Holy Spirit and um, more, more than uh, the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, because I think some church, some places, some people really focus more on the gift of the Spirit. Mm 